hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how to use list in Redis with Ruby okay so we have to install a Redis gem on machine so type in gem install Redis and once you install this gem you can go ahead and open your text editor save one file with name demo.rb next thing call for this gem by typing require release then create one variable that connects with release server now let's start by creating a list okay so type in r r push so you can use a right or left push give the name of your list let's say devnami is my list and you want to add list of languages so i'm gonna add from right push devnami okay so one more language to add you can add right or left push but for sake of this example i'm going to use only right push okay if you want you can simply call for help push and just keep on adding the values okay let's add one more And also copy paste and just change the values okay now you have all these within your list what we need to do is call for your list to be visible from left so we use L range for this so use puts then R dot L range start your list by typing devnami then we specify from 0 to let's say 0 1 2 3 4 so we have total 0 to 4 that we want to print on console okay so simply open console go to the directory then type in ruby demo.rb okay so when I hit enter it should print you the list from position left but total all four values that we added within our list okay so as you can see the list is from c plus plus java c sharp or python okay so if you call for any other which later you deleted or didn't delete it then it will retain that okay for example it retained my r value which i didn't remove last time okay so it remembered that and invoked it okay so you you would not get this value on your machine and you will only get four values instead of five that you see here okay so whenever you are working with this you can use right push or left push and when you want to print a particular list then you use list range or L range and then specify from where you want to display it if you use minus then it will start from bottom which is going to be left and from top then it will be from zero to bottom okay so this was a short video on how to use reduce list with Ruby